this question comes uh, from Myard Shields, and I want to say in advance that I don't, uh, I'm, I'm not thrilled asking this question, and you'll see why. Uh, the question <laughs> is, the American public almost certainly benefits from Mr. Buffett's increasing media exposure. But is it the best use of your time for Berkshire's shareholders? Probably not. <laughs> I do a lot of things that aren't the best use of my time for Berkshire Sherald. I play bridge on the internet 12 hours a week. You know, I mean, and I, I'm not sitting there thinking by improving my bridge skills is going to do wonders for Berkshire. <laughs> no, I uh, have seen over the years uh, the development of broadcast television as opposed to print. And I would say that if you want to have a record of exactly what you said as opposed to interpreted, through not only reporters, but editors who bounce back things and say, take six paragraphs down to four paragraphs. And why don't you ask this question? I would much rather have a record on Charlie Rose, which is permanent, where people can go back and look at exactly what I said and and my body language and whether I was kidding. I'm sure Lloyd Blankfein would have preferred to have a television interview. He would like, he'd like to take back that remark about, you know, doing God's work uh, under any circumstances. But I would bet that that was delivered as a throw a line in terms of something that was said earlier. Uh, you know, clearly he did not mean that in a literal sense, but he's gotten killed in the media because somebody elected to treat it halfway seriously and then other people to fit other stories play it that way. I like the idea, whether it's, you know, in terms of CNBC keeping a record of it or Charlie Rose keeping a record of it. Of having of being judged by my own words rather than somebody writing a few paragraphs trying to summarize some views. So, uh, and that requires uh, being on television instead of uh, instead of having people essentially take a one-hour interview, often just shopping for a single quote that fits their storyline, and having that somehow become representative of what I think. So, the, the the clearer I can be about what I think, whether writing my own annual report or whether being in broadcast, uh, uh, the better I feel about the accuracy of of the reporting, and and uh, I figured that out a few years ago. So that's the direction I go now. And whether it's the best use of the time, and it works fine. I and I'll tell you one story on that. But you even have to be a little careful about broadcast. After we made the Burlington deal, Charlie Rose, who may be here did an interview with me and we taped it on a Friday morning and we did the tape. We had a good time doing it. And during the tape, there was a little uh, section on it showing great railroad scenes. And one had Cary Grant and Grace Kelly and another one had Marilyn Monroe and some like it hot. And then it showed a bunch of the kind of things we had about railroads in our movie this morning. And when we got all through that, he asked me some question and just to give a flip answer, but it did tie in with what I just seen. I said, well, I would have paid more for the Burlington if they'd thrown in Grace Kelly and Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> well, this taped interview ran an hour and six minutes. So when they ran the tape that night, they had to take out six minutes and they took out these railroad scenes that show Grace Kelly and Marilyn Monroe. So to anybody that viewed this thing, it looked like I was spending my time there fantasizing about these while Charlie was talking to me. So even television isn't safe. <laughs>